Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to download and install Python on your system. Also, I am going to show you how you can run your first Python program using Python IDLE as well as Python Shell. So, let's start the video. You can open any of your favorite browser and just type Python and hit enter. And here you can see official website that is python.org and here you can click on downloads. Okay, it has redirected me to python.org downloads page and here you can see the latest version of Python is 3.10.5. If you have any other operating system, you can just select that and install. For Windows operating system, you can click on this download Python 3.10.5 or you can go to downloads tab and here you can see there is downloads for window and you can click on this button also. Both will work. So let me just click on this. Okay, the file size is 27.3 MB. It is not going to take more time. So, you can see my download is done. Now, I am going to install Python. So, I have to click on this exe. Okay, let me minimize this. It is asking me whether you want to run. Yes, I want to run. Okay, Python 3.10.5 setup for 60-bit machine is started. And here you can see it is showing me two options, install now and customize installation. So, I am going to select customize installation. Before that, you can see we have two check mark. One is install launcher, another is add Python. So, just click on this. Now, click on customize installation. Here all options have been checkmarked. I recommend to leave this default one because documentation contains your help file for Python. PIP is used for installing Python packages and some other IDLE tools are available. So do not uncheck any of the option. Let it be default and just hit the next button. Here in the advanced option, just select the first check mark, install for all users. So whatever accounts you are having on this machine, for them Python will be available. And this is what my customized installation location, program files, Python 310. If you want to change, you can hit this browse button and change. I don't have any reason to change. So I'm just skipping this part and I'm going to click on this install button. Okay, now it is asking me permission. So, I am going to click on yes button. Okay, so setup has been started. It is installing my Python. So, let's wait. Okay, my setup is successful. Now, I am going to click on this close button. Now, I am going to start command prompt and I am going to show how you can run Python program using Python shell. And then later on, I will be showing you how you can run using Python IDLE. So, let me just open command prompt. Okay, here you can type python hyphen hyphen version. So, it is going to show you your python version. And now just to shift to python shell, you need to type python. You can type py also. Now, here you can type any python program. I am just going to print a simple message. So, I am using print. And in double quotes, I am writing thanks for watching. And let me hit enter button. You can see as expected, I'm getting the output. Thanks for watching. This way you can run your Python using command prompt also. Now I'm going to close this command prompt and I'm going to start IDLE. I will be showing you that also. So here I'm going to type IDLE. So it is showing me IDLE Python 3.10. Here also I can type my command and I can save it. So let me just maximize it. And here I will type print and then I'm going to just hit enter and I'm getting my output. Hello. If you want to save this program, you can just click on file and save as. You can save it wherever you want. So I'm just giving name hello.py. Okay. So my file got saved. This is another way. Now you can create a new file also by clicking over here. File, new file. Now I'm going to print a statement. So I'm just writing print command print and then I'm going to run this. So for running, you can click on run button before that you can save this program. If you are not saving, if you hit on run button, it is going to ask you to save the program. So let's save the program first. So file save as hello one dot pi. And now I'm going to click on run and run the module. Okay, so I'm getting my output. Please do like the video and if I want to make any changes, I can go to my hello.py and I can make the changes 
and after making changes if you run it it is going to save your file so it is asking me source must be save yes save and then it is showing me my output. All right, guys, that pretty much conclude my video. I hope by following my video, you are able to install Python and you are able to run your first program. I hope you enjoyed my video. If yes, be sure to give like to this video. Also, if you have any kind of queries, you can put in comment box. I will surely reply to your queries. And the most valuable is your subscription. Do subscribe my channel to support me. Thanks for watching my video till end. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.